Hello everyone, it is me, Guillotine. Welcome back to another AC's Battle Runes video. Um, I've been MIA for a little bit. It's the holidays. I'm always busy around the holidays, and usually it's all the way from Halloween up through Mardi Gras. Um, but hopefully I can find some extra time to keep putting some videos out for you. Today I'm going to be talking about something that is really frustrating um, for myself and for a lot of players. Um, and usually I would be slow to post like a counter to popular meta just because um, I want to use it for myself. But um, this frustrates me so much that I just want players to quit using this build. Um, so if you aren't familiar with what ambush is, it is a rune that when activated snipers become invisible. Um it's a tier one rune, so players can get to it pretty quick, and it can be really overpowered. It can be really broken. Games can snowball really quick. I've, I've even had games like completely flip on me to where I've had the whole map, and then suddenly a fleet of snipers that are cloaked just wipe my army and are able to go through, kill workers, and kill my castles, and there's just not really anything I can do. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. I am up against my friend Pisik and Kopori. We played against each other quite a bit, um, and you can catch him in some of the other videos. And I'm pretty sure the last few times we've played, he has actually beat me. And I think it was largely due because of Snipers with Ambush. So as soon as I saw his name flash across the screen, I knew... Hey, that's something I gotta watch out for. And as soon as I saw this map, I saw I thought that hey, uh, I definitely need to be ahead in economy. Um, always, always, but especially on this map, it's really easy to fall behind. Um, even if you have you know these four bases that are pretty much guaranteed to you, um, it it's still easy to fall behind. A lot of players too will try to get sneaky and steal your number five and six. Um, and then kind of work backwards towards their base. Um, that way, you know, as soon as you're done getting your four up and going and you start to move outside of that, you realize, oh, great. He's got the whole map and there's not really anything I can do about it. And eventually you're just going to run out of money. So I send a scout in. I do notice that he's got some workers going out. So he's probably thinking the same thing as me. Um, and then I see that he went for gas too, and the only units he has building are these dogs. So I'm not really worried about that at the moment. Um, I've got enough to defend at home, so I'm going to check and see if he's got another castle coming out here. Which he doesn't have it up just yet, um, which is good news for me because I'm going to go ahead and put down my number two. Um, and I want to delay him a little bit, so getting a little bit cheeky, I put a barracks down right here. Um, the plan is never to let it finish, um, but to just delay him. He can't put his castle down while it's right there, so he's got to either wait until he kills it, which will take forever with a single dog and a worker, or come to spot three. So it's just a few seconds, but a few seconds is huge in the game. Um, and then basically this barracks is just going to be a big distraction for him, and as soon as it's about dead, I'm going to cancel it and get my 150 gold back. Um, back home, I'm just workering up. I'm building a few units. He sends in a dog to scout, but a bat is able to take care of that. And I'm actually going to go ahead and send units across the map. Um, just a couple dogs and a couple of bats. Um, uh, I'm going to try to get here and kill this worker before his castle number two goes up just to buy myself even more time. He's already got an owl out. Um, in previous games, you've heard me talk about how I don't use owls that often. Um, and largely because I play this game a lot like how someone who plays StarCraft might play the Zerg race, where I just try to grow my economy like very large and keep cranking out cheap, inexpensive units that the goal is to just attack your money and to delay you to try to avoid head-on fights um, and just eventually have you run out of money and be able to overrun your base. Um, right here, I, I do scout the snipers, and so I've got a pretty strong feeling that he's got ambush, which he does. You can see it down here at the bottom right. And as soon as he gets the money, he's probably going to be starting it. Um, 
which confirmed, yes, he is. But early on, you know, spending the 50 gas for an owl um, is a large commitment just because I need that gas um, for my other units. Um, and even though the surveillance is invaluable, um, since I expand so often and I'm kind of all over the map with my army and with buildings and like a ton of barracks everywhere, um, my buildings kind of do the surveillance for me late game. So just historically, I haven't needed them all that much, but since the update, I'm kind of forced to use them more often. Um, and it's making me a better player for sure. Um, it's just taking some adjustment. Um, he's moving some snipers across the map right now, which these snipers are invisible, um, even though you can see them right here. Um, they are cloaked. I will not be able to see them unless I have an owl. And he's got an owl with his sniper. So this is like the elite meta at the moment that's very hard to beat um, because snipers are really fast at shooting down owls. So if I have an owl in that um, is scouting them, they're going to be able to kill it very quickly. Um, and then also this shadow fighter here will be able to shoot down anything in the air really quickly. That includes an owl and that includes if I've got a bunch of bats around. So, so from what he has seen so far, he's got the unit composition to kill what I've got. And we play each other enough to where he knows what I'm working with anyways. So he's probably feeling pretty confident, even though I got a couple of early blows in, that he's going to be able to turn the tides here. Um, and um, he's not wrong. That's totally doable. Um, he's coming in, going towards base number four, which is really smart, something I would do. Meanwhile, though, I've done a little run by with some bats. I'm going to take out as many workers as I can before this lone sniper picks them all off um however i'm able to take out every worker that he had on gold so at the moment he has only four workers on gold um so even though he's about to take out my base number four and even the base count it's still really like three to one because i've got 30 workers on gold to his four and he's gonna have to rebuild so his only hope at the moment is to run the table with these snipers in hopes that he's able to kill everything before I'm able to detect them. So what is the counter? Well, you see owl here and an owl here. Um, you can probably figure out what I'm getting at is you need more than one owl. Um, and I would recommend even more than two owls. I've built five owls because I know that he can kill them really quickly um, and so if I have a bunch of owls and he's shooting owls, I'm able to come in with these sneak bombers and a sneak bomber can really put some work in on a sniper. Um, and so that's the challenge with snipers is just getting close enough to them to kill them. Um, they, especially upgraded, can almost one shot every one of my units. So being able to get close to them, be able to see them with... Uh, my owls and get close enough to kill them with my sneak bombers and puppy dogs um, it, it's really the only way that you're able to win that fight so looking at some worker counts here he's got nine plus five that's 14 another four so he's got 18 workers to my 10 20 30 about to be 40 and i've already started base number five um so i'm I'm feeling pretty good about economy at the moment, even though I don't completely know what he's got. I know that I had two successful delays, a very successful run by, a successful defense of some some expensive units. Snipers are not cheap. They're 50 gas, 75 gold. And I know that since I've already attacked the money um, and taken out more than a handful of snipers that he's got to be pretty behind. So I'm sending up my units up here, kind of, this is the staging area, if you will. I've got all five bats on those units, um, and I'm just going to run in here and try to start messing some stuff up. He's got a tank out, which um, can be detrimental, but I'm able to overrun it. Um, I, I got eyes on the snipers, and I'm able to take out the snipers. Meanwhile, I'm rallying bats to the back of this base um, because I want to continue to kill workers because if he's able to hold here um i've sank a lot of resources into this army 
and if he has a chance of coming back, it's holding here and still having a lot of economy. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to try to kill as many workers as possible. I'm rapidly changing my rally point from base to base, hoping that um, while all of his army is at one base, I'm hitting the other base. I just wanted to keep killing the workers. Um, this here is why I'm not great at using owls. I just kind of forget about them. I have them following like a certain unit um, and you can't really attach them to the to the army button. I guess you could put them in a control group, um, but they end up just kind of getting lost um, around the map. But I'm able to recognize it this time, pull them closer to that last sniper. Um, and it's pretty much going to snowball from here in my direction. Um, I'm going to just continue to keep sending units. Um, I'm going to continue to keep growing my base. I'm about to go for base number six right here. Um, but I'm just, yeah, going to keep fighting. I'm going to keep attacking money. Um, anytime some units pop out, I'm going to take them out. And yeah, good game. Pisic, he ends up fighting till the bitter end. Gotta, gotta love him for that. Um, but yeah, hopefully you found this helpful if you have been losing to snipers with ambush um, i hope this helps you um get over that hump and so just to recap stay ahead in economy delay and harass the money as much as you possibly can and keep a whole bunch of owls with your army and you should be all right so yeah i had some other footage planned for today however i played this game early in the morning and thought it would be appropriate and relevant to talk about now um in my last video in the comments it was suggested putting together a video that talks about deck composition and why choosing certain cards and kind of the philosophy around that um, and so that's going to be what I talk about in the next one. And then we'll get some gameplay with the decks that we put together. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for watching. Um, it's going to be the end of this game. And um, I will holler at y'all next time. Later.